You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. It's with great sadness that I report that nursing homes are still fighting COVID-19, still fighting for the lives of their residents. I've been filming these CNA Hero segments for about two years now. Before COVID, I would have to scour the internet for hours to find stories of CNAs performing extraordinary acts of bravery, kindness, and heroism. Don't get me wrong, CNA heroes have always been out there, quietly doing their thing without fanfare. But I had difficulty finding them. Now, in a post-COVID world, I'm having difficulty logging the stories and the facts about CNAs and assisted living caregivers going above and beyond in these difficult times. Regrettably, many of these CNA heroes have lost their lives in battle with the COVID virus, and they shall not be forgotten. Cynthia Whitfield was a 58-year-old CNA CMT, Certified Nursing Assistant, Certified Medication Technician, at Grand Manor Nursing and Rehabilitation in St. Louis, Missouri. She had worked there for about 15 years. Since March, dozens of nursing home workers and residents in the St. Louis area have tested positive for COVID-19. Cynthia loved her residents and they loved her according to her daughter, Jasmine Whitfield. Jasmine reports that her mother, Cynthia, was terrified at the thought of being infected with COVID-19. Jasmine states, she bought vitamins, she bought N95 masks, she paid $15 a piece for those. She was like, here, take a vitamin C package, you have to keep your immune system healthy. Make sure you wash your hands. She bought her family all hand sanitizer. She was just really trying to protect against the virus, as her daughter states. Cynthia purchased her own mask due to the lack of personal protective equipment, or PPE, at the facility. She was doing everything she could to maintain her health and prevent infection. In the second week of April, Cynthia was tested for the coronavirus, or COVID-19. While she waited for the test results, she was informed that five people at Grand Manor had tested positive. When Cynthia began feeling too sick to work, she tried to ask for paid sick leave, but her request was denied and she was still asked to report to work, according to her daughter, Jasmine. Though the federal government had passed the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, the CARES Act, it passed in response to the pandemic, providing some employees up to 10 paid sick days and up to 10 weeks off of paid medical leave the act also allowed healthcare providers to exempt themselves, and that's what Cynthia's employer did. Cynthia suffered body aches, shortness of breath, sweating, no appetite, and still was expected to report to work while awaiting test results. Cynthia was admitted to St. Mary's Hospital on April 14th and was quickly put on a ventilator so her children were not even able to speak to her. On April 21st, Cynthia was transferred to Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis due to her critical condition and need for more extensive treatment. That same day, Cynthia's mother was also admitted to the hospital for COVID-19 treatment, most likely being infected by her daughter. 
that night of April 21st, Cynthia Whitfield died of COVID-19 as her own mother fought for her life on a ventilator. Cynthia's daughter, Jasmine Whitfield, said her mother enjoyed her work. She loved to host family barbecues and loved taking photos with family and friends. Cynthia's mother remains hospitalized for COVID-19. Cynthia Whitfield did all she could to protect herself and the residents from this deadly virus, and she was failed by so many. In a country where we need CNA so desperately under normal circumstances, it is so difficult to lose great, dedicated, and experienced CNAs due in large part to the ill preparedness of our own healthcare system and our society. We here at NACA extend our condolences to Cynthia's family, friends, co-workers, and residents. Everyone, please join me in honoring the loving and giving life of Cynthia Whitfield, CNA Hero.